In this lesson, let's talk a little bit about making your first wireframe. So when you're designing a website, everybody wants to dive in and work with the visual elements right away, but it's really crucial that you lay out your site so that it actually works and functions the way it's supposed to. So the wireframe is really what communicates the layout of the page without getting caught up in the color and the design elements. Wireframes can save a lot of time and effort because they can help you to really identify where things need to be on the page and catch some mistakes before you actually go and build the content. So you can use them to keep track of items such as your headers and footers, menus, that sort of thing. The key is to nail the layout down before you go in and start building the site because it's much harder to go back and fix those problems once you've started. Here are some great tools for working with wireframing. So obviously a pencil and paper would be a really good choice, not something I do very often because I'm so computer savvy these days. Adobe Fireworks is another excellent one for wireframing, but there are some other tools here that I have listed and I got these courtesy of smashingmagazine.com. So it's a great resource for a lot of other creative things, but they had a wonderful section at one point on different kinds of tools that you can use for wireframes. So I thought I'd share that with you here. So remember when you're laying out your site that some of the things are going to be on the pages all the time, on all of the pages, like the banner and the navigation, but some content is going to be um, individual on certain pages. So this is an example of the site that we're going to be creating, the blog site. This is what the finished project is going to look like. So you see that we have four separate blog posts here. This is going to be our aside tag, which is going to give us that little sidebar. We have a simple navigation up here, and then this is our banner graphic at the top, and we have a footer at the bottom. So this is as simple as it can be creating what the wireframe would look like. So there's the nav bar and the header, the graphic. There's the sidebar and the four blog posts and the footer. It doesn't need to be any more elaborate than that. It's just showing you the layout of the page to make sure that everything goes together. It's a really good idea to start with a wireframe before you go any further. I just threw this one together in Illustrator, but again, you can simply do it with pencil and paper if that's what works for you. So creating your wireframe before you get started, a great step before you actually begin to build your site. 